205, I like that bus. In fact, that's the bus that uh, I went to Washington DC in when we did that big rally a couple of years ago. It's on my channel, if you guys wanna check it out, I'll put the link up here and down in the description box below. I think it's, I think it's probably in the garage. Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to another rainy, dismal spring morning. We're actually going to the capital today, Springfield, Illinois. We're picking up a elementary school um, and this is the time of year where all these schools start going on field trips and it's really nice to see schools starting to do that again because uh, I gotta say the pandemic kind of put a stop to all that the last couple of years. So it's an hour and 45 minutes to Springfield and our itinerary has us picking up the students at about eight o'clock at the uh, school and then we're gonna drop them off at the Abraham Lincoln Museum. And after that, we have like a couple hours. I think we don't have, we don't have to pick them up until 1.30. And so we'll be back in town about 3 p.m. this afternoon. So it's a short trip, but I'm not gonna complain. It's nice to get out of the office and be behind the wheel of a coach again. But while we're there, I'm thinking we do some food exploring. Let's go pick up the group and head to Springfield. Okay, we just pulled up at the school and apparently the school buses are still loading and unloading. So she had me back into this uh, little slot here, which I don't like to back up on school property, especially elementary school. I typically make a rule not to do so, but I didn't want to cause any problems. So I went ahead and backed up. I remember taking my CDL class. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a law that says it's illegal to back up on school property when you're driving a bus. Maybe it's just for school buses, but I remember that question on the CDL test. But that was years ago. That was back in, uh, what, 2000, 2007? So I don't know, maybe they changed it. But you guys let me know if that's still a rule because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to back a bus up in a school lot. It's currently 7.58 and we're supposed to be here by eight o'clock. So we're gonna pick up our group once they board and we're gonna head to Springfield, Illinois. It's an hour and 45 minutes to drive there. And once we drop them off, should be about 10 a.m. before we're kind of left on our own. And at 1.30 is when we need to be back at the Abraham Lincoln Museum to pick them up. So there's a really good restaurant called Chesapeake Seafood House. And I really wanted to go there, but they don't open until three o'clock, which is not gonna work for us. So. It's no Chesapeake seafood for us. Did I mention to you guys how much I miss doing this? It's a really fun job. Some days, some days. Every car that drives by to drop their children off at this school 
every one of them that drives by my bus, the drivers always like go out of their way and duck their heads down low to just see, try to get a glance at me. That's the one thing I've noticed driving a motor coach since day one. Everyone driving by these giant beautiful buses, at least in the Midwest when they're not as common, um, a lot of people just really want to see who's sitting behind the wheel of that thing. I don't know, I love that. It gives me a sense of pride. Sometimes I'm just like, yeah, that's right. This dude, this guy right here. I'm driving this big, beautiful land yacht. Jealous? currently 1027 we just pulled up to the Abraham Lincoln Museum passengers are still on the bus um, they have to do this registration thing so just waiting for them to get off and then we'll go do our thing okay I think they're about to get off they're gonna have some lunch right now I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes now so I'm glad I'm glad the, the traffic authority here isn't a stickler about this because I'm not really supposed to keep a bus here too long. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm on the main drag. Okay, so all the passengers are kind of getting off the bus. Um, they're gonna sit alongside of the building and eat a small lunch, I guess, um, in the rain. But it's a little chaotic. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know knows what's going on. I'm, I'm gonna stick around for a little bit until they get everything they need and then we're gonna go eat. It's still, it's 1044, so it's all good. But. We're here, it's raining, and uh, everyone's confused. <laughs> okay, everyone's had their before lunch lunch and getting ready to go, so we're gonna go um, do our thing now. And get out of the rain. Excuse me. Sorry, yes. I gotta put this. Off. That's okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome, have a good time. Sorry, one of the kids forgot to stick their lunch in the back. No problem. Okay. Just, yeah, you want to just keep it up here or down there? Uh, probably down here. Okay. So All right. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. No worries. All right, see you in a little bit. No problem. It's all in good fun. Okay, I think we can shut the door now. Wow, that, that 
must needs a good washing. Golden Corral, Springfield, Illinois. Open soon, good. Everything's really good. The ham is very mild. It's not super salty. A little bit of sweetness from the glaze. Mashed potatoes are creamy. Collard greens are like cooked down to like mush. You don't even have to. You don't have to chew this. No chewing involved. I cleaned my plate. Round two. These are where you, what you come here for, the rolls here. If you could eat a cloud, this is what it, I, I would imagine it would taste like. The honey butter has changed over the years. I don't remember them looking, ooh, that kind of looks like whack. It tastes like toffee. These are better without it. Yeah, these, these have gone downhill. The, the honey butter here used to be awesome, but, um, this isn't it. Mmm. These are little sirloin beef bites. Really nice beefy flavor. Kind of smoky. These are good. Chicken's cooked nicely. It's not dry, really moist. Lots of nice flavor on that skin. Really good sauce. The cream bean casserole is, is okay. I mean, I don't love it. Not as good as the one I made. I want to give the honey butter one more chance. <clears throat> it's not that it tastes bad, it's just that it doesn't go good with the bread. It tastes like toffee, and I like toffee. But I wouldn't put toffee on rolls. It doesn't work. Since when did Golden Corral start putting in slushy machines? That reminds me of childhood. I should be eating this with a straw, not a spoon. I'm so happy right now. That's a good pecan pie. Some pecan pies are so condensed, I don't know that they're just too dried. They're like, it's like a bark. But this is, this is gelatinous and not super sweet. Now, I know you eat pecan pie because it's sweet. It's supposed to be sweet, but I don't like, some, some of them are like insanely sweet. This is, this is perfect. Uh, the pecans are nicely roasted, a little smoky. Mmm. Not a fan of the crust. The crust is, um, I don't know, tastes like a stale Oreo. Cheers. It's such a simple thing, but this itself made my experience at Golden Corral so much more brighter. If you guys ever get an umbrella, make sure to get one of these that where the button not only opens it, but actually collapses it. Check this out. Slick, huh? On our way here, uh, apparently one of the kids puked. And I'm trying to find where they puked. I mean, I can, 
definitely smell it. Um, but it seems like they cleaned it all up. It just doesn't smell right. Now the things you do as a bus driver. Let's see, vanilla, air freshener, and deodorizer. Let's see what this does. I don't want my passenger smelling this all the way back. Be my luck that someone's allergic to this stuff. <laughs> Cross my fingers. Yeah, that must be the bag full of puke. I think there's a teddy bear in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna open that. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna let them deal with it. But I am gonna tell them to get it out of the bathroom um, when we, uh, we pick them up because I don't need that sitting in the bathroom. There's a teacher on my bus, Mrs. Martin. She's the main head honcho. She's the main teacher in charge. She was my fourth grade teacher. I never would have guessed in fourth grade that one day I would have her on my bus while I'm the driver. Uh, she seems really busy, uh, which, which is understandable, trying to rally um, together a bunch of fifth graders on a field trip. But I'm hoping that uh, at some point today that I can get her to say a couple words on camera. <laughs> I think I owe her a couple book reports still. Uh, it, it's really, really cool to see old teachers um, later on in your profession. I think it's time to head back over there. It's not our group coming out, but man, talk about a wash or something. What is up with the back end of this bus? I know what company that uh, motor coach is from. I don't want to embarrass them, so I'm not going to mention the name or anything, but that thing needs a wash. Now, if that got that dirty on the way here, because this bus is out of Chicago, I'll say that. This company's from Chicago. But if it got this dirty going from Chicago to here, something is horribly wrong with that thing. There's a huge oil leak or something. Someone needs to look at that thing. I wouldn't be driving that bus very far if uh, the back end was getting that oily. And that is oil. That's not a paint job. I think they got more of their group coming out. Our group's going to be next.
right guys, time is now 3.16. I have my daughter behind me. I picked her up from her school after dropping off the, uh, what was it, the fifth graders? Um, the fourth, fourth graders. Fourth graders, so dropped off the fourth graders. It was time for school to let out anyway, so Leah was just getting off school, so I ended up bringing her back to the garage with me. I'm gonna do the post trip and call it a day. This was a fun trip, it was a milk run. Had a really good time, the, the, the passengers were really good. It was really awesome seeing my old fourth grade teacher again, Miss Martin. Miss Martin, if you're watching this, um, I didn't get a chance to really chat with you. You were busy keeping the kids uh, uh, together all day. So if you're watching this, hello. Hopefully one day I'll run into you again and uh, catch up a little bit. But I'm gonna get to the post trip and go home and get out of this rainy weather and just do nothing for the rest of the night. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Thanks for coming along and following along with me. And um, don't forget to check out my other channel, Motor Coach World. I'll put the link up here and down below. It's all about buses. And until next time, guys. Toodles. Toodles.